Now, for more on how Russian military might see an internal turmoil, we are being joined by our guest, Dmitry Babich, who has been an active journalist for 25 years with focus on Russian politics. Thank you for being with us. Now, Russian President Putin has accused the Wagner chief of treason. Take us through this move by Prigozhin. Uh, well, I think uh, it was uh, difficult for Putin to go against Prigozhin because uh, Prigozhin obviously had been a friend of Putin for many years, and Putin is very loyal to his friends. Uh, this is the only explanation I can find for the fact that Prigozhin had been making absolutely outlandish statements during the last two months uh, against the Ministry of Defense, against uh, uh, the Russian government in general, except Putin personally. And uh, he was allowed to do it, you know, Putin did not react. But now, uh, when uh, uh, Prigozhin and his uh, uh, men uh, went against, uh, uh, you know, they, they, there was no fighting, they didn't shoot any Russian soldiers, but yet they, they took control of the command and center in Rostov, that is against the law, and Putin is a lawyer. So Putin, as a lawyer, uh, judged it for what it was. It was uh, a, a rebellion, uh, a mutiny, and a breach of law. So uh, legally, Putin has uh, all the Trumps, uh, and uh, he has the public opinion behind him. All the people in the media world, all the people whom I meet on the street, they are all uh, in support of Putin in this situation, because they say, if we have a war with Ukraine, it's a treason. Uh, even if you uh, did something, you did some good things for the country, to turn against the government right, right now is a treason. So I don't expect uh, Mr. Prigozhin to win. I don't see how he can win uh, because, uh, okay, you call his men mercenaries. Uh, I don't think uh, they are uh, motivated only by money. I think the huge majority of them is motivated by Russian patriotism. So if they are Russian patriots, how can they go against Moscow? Uh, how can they disturb the peace in Voronezh or in Rostov? And if they want money, where are they going to get the money if not from uh, Moscow, from uh, the Moscow uh, government and from the Russian finance ministry? Mr. Prigozhin is not going to pay them from his own pocket. So I see no way out for Prigozhin in this situation. Why he did it, I think he just uh, overestimated his power he was very successful in Africa. He was very successful in Ukraine militarily. So he started uh, thinking too much of himself. What is interesting is uh, what you um, uh, cited right now, the reaction of the Russian opposition abroad. Mikhail Khodorkovsky supported Prigozhin. Maybe we're going to hear some positive sounds about him from the Western media. Well, that would be a huge irony of history because look, uh, just uh, look at the Western media at least for uh, eight years, they had been demonizing Prigozhin. They accused him of, of uh, using American social networks in order to help uh, Trump win the election. They called Prigozhin the man who brought uh, Trump to power. You know, this is, uh, uh, of course, uh, wild lies, but this is what they said. So they had been demonizing Prigozhin for so many years, and now suddenly he is a hero. That shows that the Western media is biased. They just hate the, uh, the Russian government and the Russia in general, and they are ready to support any adventurist if only he is against the Russian government. Right, Dmitry, what realistically are the chances of Prigozhin's offensive reaching Moscow? Zero chances. I just don't see how that can happen. Uh, first, because his soldiers will not go against their country. Second, because uh, they are a small minority. Okay, he has 25,000 men, but Russian army in general is more than 1 million. And uh, he doesn't have the support of the population. Uh, yes, there are some people in Russia who are unhappy uh, with what they call soft way uh, Putin is leading that war. Some of them may have sympathies for Prigozhin, but they are still a minority. Again, the Western media had been saying yeah. that uh, there is a huge liberal opposition in Russia, pacifist opposition, that millions of Russians want Russia to lose that war. That's not the case. The liberal opposition is very weak. Uh, the uh, other kind of opposition, people saying that the war should be led by more uh, decisive, more cruel means, 
They are a substantive segment of public opinion. Some of them might support Prigozhin in the last few months when he made critical statements. But now when he basically left his positions inside Ukraine and went against Moscow, even those supporters of him are going to, uh, I think they are going to stop supporting him because obviously uh, Prigozhin sections right now are, are serving uh, Russia's enemies in the West and in Ukraine. So I don't see how he can he can succeed. Right. Dimitri, thank you very much for uh, bringing us uh, all your valued insights there. Thank you.